Hi, my name is Dan from the Ball Seed Company. Thank you for purchasing the Tagawa Punch and Grow 2 built from Blackmore. This video will show how to set up and a little demonstration of use of the machine. Everything that I will be speaking about in this video can be followed along in the manual. As your shipment arrives, you'll receive a larger box that includes the chassis and the rails in the longer box. Depending on what you're transplanting from the plugs into your trays, you potentially could be receiving a square box that includes the punch plates and the flatter one that includes the indexing racks. Again, how many plates that you have depends on what you're using. This box could be included inside of this one on the machine already, along with the indexing racks. Once you've uncrated and unboxed all the parts of your new transplanter, three tools will be needed. A 7 16th wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, and an Allen wrench set. The first step of setup is assembling the flat stop lock. Using a 3 32nd Allen wrench, remove the collars from the rod, sliding the slot along it, then placing the flat stop somewhere in the middle, and we'll adjust these later. The continued assembly of the rails is as follows. Just placing it through the machine, placing the brackets on the outside of the center of the chassis, which we call the H bracket. Then please assemble the thumb screws, ensuring that the ridges are on the inside towards the screws themselves. And please continue to put all four of them on. Once you've placed them, please make sure that you still keep them loose so that there's, there will be further adjustments in the future. Now we need to install the locator block onto the frame itself. Please make reference to the numbers that are on the front of the block itself. They need to be facing the operator. If unable to find the numbers, there's also a zero punched up in the lower left hand corner. Please remove the thumb screws and install it directly onto the frame. Please remove the plug tray rack from the box, taking notice to the side of the arm where the screws need to be tightened and positioned in the center of the slot. For future reference, these can be adjusted for fine tuning of the transplants. Depending on the model of rack that you have or the type of plug that you're using, you may need to attach the support blocks in the back of the index rack itself. Once it's assembled, please put the rack in the proper place anywhere along the indexing block so that there's support for the punch plate. At this time, we will now attach the punch plate to the machine. Inside the punch plate box, there's a piece of cardboard that will help you install the punch plate itself onto the machine. You can place the cardboard anywhere underneath the frame itself. Assembling the punch plate, Please take notice to the numbers. We want to make sure that those are facing the operator. And again, there's a zero for the lower left-hand corner for easy reference. Please remove all the thumb screws from the plate, including the washers, as we're going to attach this to the machine. Placing the punch plate underneath the machine, referencing the numbers so that you're able to read them towards you, the operator. And again, also having the zero in the other corner in the lower left hand. Now lowering the upper lift down on top of the punch plate itself, placing the bolt in the center of the slotted area. The circle is for use for the 105 vegetative liners or larger plugs, but for all other plates, please place the bolt inside of the slotted area. Installing the thumb screw, Again, assuring that the bolt is in the center of the slotted area. Gently tighten the thumb screw so that we're able to move the punch plate for fine tune adjustments. Placing the empty plug tray in the indexing rack.
Then placing the indexing rack in the locator block, ensuring that the first slot is in the first groove of the block. This will allow us to properly adjust the punch plate into the plug tray. Adjusting the punch plate, ensuring that the fingers of the pins themselves are in the center of the plug tray. We are then now able to tighten the thumb screws on top. We're now ready to adjust the growing flat underneath the punch plate pins. Please place your growing flat within the rails so that we can make the adjustments of the rails themselves front to back. Putting the growing flat underneath the pins, centering the flat so that you have it properly placing the plugs in the center of the growing media, and then tightening the rails of the desired location. Tightening all four thumb screws on the left and right side of the machine. After the thumb screws are tightened on the rails, ensuring the front to back, now we may need to make adjustments to the left or right movement. Pulling the pins down and then centering the growing flat within it. Now able to adjust the flat block to the desired location. At this point, we need to reference to the manual. On page four, locate the chart for the three additional settings correlating to your growing flat. Please measure the height of your growing flat or pot from top to bottom, again, referencing the chart on page four, which then would correlate the height of your locator block and indexing rack, counting from the bottom up for your desired height of your growing flat. The second adjustment is up on top. Referring to the chart on page four, the majority of the settings would be in the lower position. The pivot pin can be adjusted to the top as there are a few that would require a higher and a longer stroke of the punch plate, which is indicated at this location. The final adjustment is on the back of the machine for the proper tuning of where the pivot point needs to be to your growing flat. By making the adjustment of the pivot point is the pushing and pulling of the chain on the top of the screws. Again referring to page four of your manual, locating the proper number as desired. At this point, we're ready to start transplanting your plugs into your growing flats or pots. Placing the indexing rack in a locator block in the first position, lifting the plug flat up, we're ready to start. It's imperative to do this in a proper order of the four separate movements. Placing the growing flat underneath, lowering the plugs, transplanting, lifting the plugs up, then lifting the pins up. This is as follows. Growing flat, plugs on top of the media, through the tray, lifting the plug flat away from the tray, then the pins. Everything is perfectly planted.
If your required plug depth is either deeper or shallower than the initial setting, the very final fine tune adjustment is on the side of the depth of the pins itself. You can either lower it by further out or raising it for a shallower depth. At this point, you're ready to start for continuous production, the transplanting of your new Punch and Grow 2. Bringing the flat underneath the pins, ensuring that the next plants are underneath the pins themselves so you can transplant. Lowering the plug flat on top of the growing flat. Pushing the plants through. Lifting the plug flat away from the growing media. Then releasing the pins from the plug. And we're ready for the next one. Thank you again for purchasing the Tagawa Punch and Grow 2, built by Blackmore, sold through Ball Seed. I hope you find that it's very useful and helpful for your transplanting needs, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.